be like, what's the process? But you said you're going to forward it to whom? The Department of Internal Investigations, DII. That's where it goes, of course. That's where Bridget works, right? Yeah. Okay. And then they'll be in contact. How does that go after that? Like, I'm, I'm assuming, you, do you, is your phone number on? Did they call the police? It's okay. I mean, they obviously know, so. Okay. Yeah. So. All right, y'all set? Yeah. All right, right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh well, I'm gonna leave after you guys leave. I don't want, I don't, want, yeah, I don't want you to escort me out. I'm, I'm not escorting you. Out. We're just walking out. If, if there was an escort, there'd be, you know, what an escort means. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'm just saying. I mean, you, you guys can go, and then I'll leave after you guys. I'm not going to leave with you. But as of right now, you are past the point. You now can see. No, I was just talking to you guys right here. So, so now I'm not past the point. Tyrant Terminator! Yo, what's good, TTA family? Back at y'all with another one. Man, today we are back at the Illinois State Police Headquarters, man. If y'all remember, man, this is where uh, dude was telling me the Breakfast Club was filmed and stuff. You know, basically back over here to drop this uh, notarized complaint off. Got the notarized complaint right here. And I know a lot of TTA family members, man, a lot of y'all was concerned about that. I understand that, you know, in terms of, you know, they trying to uh, make us basically fill out uh, notaries and get everything notarized. And, you know, that is kind of some loopholes or whatever. But like I said, I, I actually uh, in, uh, like the fact that the, you got to get it notarized because now it makes it, officially a legal document the complaint that is so it's cool man so basically we're gonna go in here and see if we can uh get ready to drop this off just ask them to process and things of that nature and then we'll be good to go y'all stay in tune yeah. what's up man all right i'm just back to you you guys remember me like like a week or two ago just gonna drop yeah 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 appreciate it Bell does not work. Please knock on the window and be patient. If they can hear it. Drop off a notarized complaint and um, get a copy of this and give you guys a copy of this other letter that needs to be attached to it. A complaint about, what is this for? It's a complaint against the Secretary of State Police. Okay, we don't police other police departments. If you have a complaint for the Secretary of State Police, then you need to take it to the Secretary of State Police and ask to speak to one of their supervisors. Uh, I, I talked to Captain Kelsner here about it. He, he actually... Captain uh, Keltner told you to bring this in? Yeah, yeah, because I explained, because it's, it's even on you guys' website that you guys, is, uh, we can, uh, citizens can file complaints against any state employees here. And he, he, agree, he agreed, yeah. But okay. I, I, yeah, but they gave me a physical form the last time I was just here a couple weeks ago. Okay. So Keltner's expecting this? Uh, well, he said, he, he told me that you guys will accept it here and then it afforded it over to... Um, I guess a DII or something like that. Okay. And then I talked to a Bridget here as well. So they, are, okay. they definitely expected it. Just okay. want you guys to make a copy of those two. Uh, these will be attached and just give me back the, uh, the copies. Uh, you want the copy back? Correct. Okay. Yeah, correct. Hold on. All right. <sighs> yeah, I think this was the same guy, uh, TTA family, if y'all can remember when last time I had asked when I was here. I asked for a, a complaint form and he was telling me that everything is online and he was definitely getting ready to go that route again. So <laughs> just don't understand, man. And what's your name, sir? Master Sergeant Demopoulos. Demopoulos? Demopoulos. Demopoulos. Is there a way you can um? 
possibly uh, get in contact with Bridget to let her just, just so I can have a quick dialogue with her to see what's the process after dropping the complaint off. Have a seat. All right, appreciate it. Yeah, uh, TTA family. So we'll see if we can holler at Bridget. You guys remember her? She was great last time we was here. So just want to be able to reconfirm what's the process and uh, uh, when would they be in touch. So you guys stay in touch. Tell me if she was available or she was going to meet with me. She didn't have time. She's on lunch. She didn't she's, say anything. She's still trying to figure it out, sir. Okay. Okay. Right. So so about how much longer? I have no idea. Well, can you? Well, you know what? If not even if not Bridges is not available, uh, just a uh, a higher authority officer, maybe the captain again, if you can. I'll, I'll ask you if it's okay. You ask him. Yeah. What's your name? I'm Trooper Ampere. That's my boss. Okay. Okay. Thanks, sir. Oh, man. So they started trying to figure it out. I mean, it, it's kind of don't you think it's kind of best to come back and let me know something? Just have someone just sitting here. Ain't even nothing to figure out. Ain't nothing but to just call and see if she's available. If she's not available, then that's that. What, what is what is she trying to figure out? There's not currently anybody in the DI office that I can get a hold of right now. So I'm going to forward this to, to the Division of Internal Investigation so that they can do an investigation on it. But there's nobody there right now that I can get a hold of to talk to you. No one at all. What about um? What about uh, any type of um, like captain or? The captain Keltner's not here right now. Or, no, but he's the only captain that works here. He's the he's the captain for this area of the state. Yes. Okay. So I'm just basically trying to see like what's the process. But you said you're going to forward it to whom? The Department of Internal Investigations (DII). That's where it goes, of course. That's where Bridget works, right? Yeah. Okay. And then they'll be in contact. How does that go after that? Like, I'm, I'm assuming, do you, do you, is your phone number on here? Yeah, everything's on there. Okay. I'm assuming that they'll give you a call and let you know what they're going to do after that. Okay. I, I don't work in that division of the state police. I'm, I'm patrol. Patrol, correct. Okay. And what's your badge number? 4604. 4604. I right, appreciate it. All Thanks right. a lot. Have a nice day. You too. All right, TTA family. So, yeah, we on to... Uh, I appreciate you, man. Hey, someone can get. Yep. You got it. All right. Have a good one. You too. It's always uh, no one's in the office at the time and stuff like that. So uh, obviously they're going to forward it over. They should be in contact. Uh, but y'all know TTA. Even if they ain't in contact, we're going to get in contact with them. So man, y'all uh, got got a got a got a little bit more something for y'all after this right here, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay in tune for the rest of this video. We got, got doing a two for one for y'all today. Stay in tune. Yeah, TTA family. So like I said, I'm giving y'all two for one today. Uh, we came over here to the Cook County Health Department. Out in uh, Arlington Heights, Illinois. We're just getting ready to see if they respect our rights to record in public and to make sure that our rights are not infringed on by anyone at any time. Let's go see. Them. Hello. Are you recording that? Yeah. I'm just documenting the building. Huh? You sure? Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I can. Okay. Are you a supervisor? Oh, okay. You want to talk to a supervisor? I mean, if, I don't think it's necessary. I think I'm good to go, but I really was coming in to um, get a couple of. Get, get a, I need a couple of um, FOIA request forms. I need a couple of FOIA request forms. Of Freedom of Information Act. Yeah, you can be recording. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure I. I'm pre I'm pretty sure I can. Are you the supervisor? No, but I can get you one. Okay. 
Because I think I'm, think I'm good to go. What are you recording for? Just to document the building, gather gather some content. That's about it. Just, just to gather some content and create a story about this health department. What's your name? Really? Yeah. And you're a public worker. You, I am, yes. That's the reason that you guys... I don't know where you're from. I don't have any ID from you. I don't have any card credentials from you, so I don't know where you're from. Well, well why, why would you need ID? Okay. <laughs> Very unprofessional. This is this is, this is is the people that we hire uh, to serve the public. Public servants not giving out their okay, name. Well, who's next, please? Wow. We'll get our name, hopefully, when the manager comes down. We'll see. You the manager, sir? Yes, sir. What's, what's your name? Jesus. Jesus. My name is James. Hello. I was asking this young lady her name. You recording? Yeah. Yeah, you can't record anymore. I'm pretty sure I can. No, you can't. It's a medical facility. Yeah, I know, but it's public, though, right? No. That's all right. You keep walking close to me well, like how that. How can I help you? I, I, like I told her, I need FOIA request forms. And I was trying to get this young lady's name because she was rude. I'll take care of that. Uh, what kind of forms do you need? FOIA. FOIA forms. Freedom of information. Uh, we can give you information about the health center. Well, that's what the forms are for. I'll be able to fill them out and um, turn them back in. Do you want like a release of information? Well, I'm just going to, that's a FOIA request form. So whatever, the materials that I'm going to request, I'm going to write them down on that form. So you want a release of information for I just want a form, a uh, FOIA request form. It's, it's, I think it's different than the release information. Uh, we don't have those forms here. You definitely do. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, pretty, uh, this lady right here doesn't want to give her name. She's a public servant. Not wanting to give her name. Hey, Sue said he's going to get the. He, he don't think they have FOIA forms, but. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do. There's just two forms we have. You can complete those and request what you're looking for. There's only two forms we have. Request an authorization to release health information. Uh, this is yeah. This is yeah. This is not it. You you might you might have to holler at HR so because this you is can not. Contact it. the number in our in our website, and they can give you those forms as well. If you're a patient not here, you're a patient here. No. So you have to be a patient, so you can. Find that's right. That's but this is not what I'm requesting. So that's the only forms I have here. Yep. No. So you you, you misunderstanding. It's a it's a state law, right? Mm -hmm. For Freedom of Information Act. It's not. It has nothing to do with health information. You can contact our. Is there any somebody number? over you? There is. I can yeah. give you the information. Well, too. I'm talking about here. I'm excited. Oh, okay. okay. Well. Not here. Okay. Well, well I'm gonna just it. document the rest of the building since you couldn't get me where. Yeah, I don't. I don't need. You these. can take those with you. Well, I don't need them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, sir. Uh, there's no recording. They don't allow that in here. Who doesn't allow it? Well, the guy that's in charge. Yeah, he. But he's he's just misinformed. It's a law. Uh, this is my First Amendment right, so he's just not aware. Okay. So. Yeah, we can't have you record in here. So even though I just told you that it's my First Amendment right, you're you're, you're not. That's not computing right now. Okay. That's. It's not. Obviously not. Okay. It's like I told you that, and it went right in one, one ear to out the other. I hear you. Okay. I hear you clearly. Okay. All right. I okay. hear you clearly. Okay. Well, I'm going to just continue to do what I was doing before I was... Uh... No, you're recording other folks here. Yeah, that's okay. No, it's not okay. Yeah, that's, trust me, it is. I know exactly what I'm doing. Okay. They just don't know. And you, obviously, you don't know. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I'm good to go. Um, what was the young lady's name so I can file a complaint? Which young lady? The, uh, the one that works on the end down there? Uh, Maribel, I'm Destiny. Maribel right here at the end? Okay. I right, definitely, okay, I'm going to remember that, Maribel. All right. What's your name, sir? Uh, 
I'm just Danny. Man. Danny, <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, I know. Sorry he... about the inconvenience, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just told that he, he just can't record. Yeah, I know, but he, he's just, he's just misinformed. Okay. I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, Danny. Okay. Yeah, he don't, he probably don't know. Uh, obviously, he don't even know about the state law in terms of the FOIA forms, and okay. and I'm trying to tell him how to probably possibly go back there and speak to someone else that may know. Okay. Because uh, we have a right to fill out those forms, and he's not even interested in that. So, okay. yeah, he's the only one here. This site, really? Yeah, it's like the office manager. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's mm -hmm. tough because it's like uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm able to uh, help mm -hmm. and you know go get the things that I need. So, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna, uh, like I said, I'm just gonna document the rest of the building, man. And, um, if you want to let them know, you know, I'm just gonna get a couple of more shots of the lobby and, and the workers and stuff like that, and then I'll book on out. If you want to just let them know that. What happened, Danny? Yeah, they just don't want you recording. That's all. Yeah, I know he pressed. Yeah, he probably just misinformed, you know. He probably just obviously don't know uh, citizens have a First Amendment right to uh, record in public. Yeah, he just don't know. So, uh, I mean, there's nothing, you know, He he's telling you to do stuff. And, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I understand. I understand. Did they call the police? Okay. I mean, they obviously know. So, okay. Yeah. I think it's unnecessary, but I'm not going to. You're your security, right? Yeah, right. Security. Yeah, I understand, right? Yeah, I understand. Just, uh, I'm here if they, and obviously, if they ask you to do something, yeah. you, you have to do it, you know. And if I can't control it, they ask more. Yeah. So, yeah sorry. It seemed like they, be honest with you, it didn't even seem like they gave you a chance to uh, control it. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? No, I'm, well, we, we can talk right here. Okay. Want, want to talk to you? What's, What's your name, Officer? Officer Brazil. Why don't we go over, over there? That's cool. Right? That's cool. What's your name again, Officer? Officer Brosnan, right here. Bronze, Bronze name. Bronze name. Bronze. Bronze. I want to be able to get that correct. What's your badge number, sir? 299. 299. Yes. Uh, like I said, what I told these uh, people and the personnel here, even the manager there, I'm trying to come in to uh, grab some FOIA request forms. Um, seems like he's not really knowledgeable of what that exactly is okay. so he brought me out some um some of these health care like release but I, I told him these was the wrong forms so i tried to uh, get him to go back there to speak to possibly someone else that might have knowledge uh he was uninterested then the second thing is um he said basically he doesn't want me to record in the health department which i was trying to convey also to him that we have a first amendment right to record in public accessible areas just the lobby not going past any restricted doors and again he wasn't interested okay. he's dispatched you guys out here sorry about that okay so that's the um, best the gist of the it the forms that you are looking for mm -hmm. have you gotten the forms here before not not from here but of course not 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 this is my first so time at this site okay. yeah so what is it you're requesting FOIA form for it. Something that were you were you a patient? Not one a patient. See, see, that's that's what he thought. He yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I'm what he thought. Exactly and he was. How you doing, Officer? Yeah, Officer Sullivan? Yes, I'm sorry. Man, James. Hey, James. Hey, good luck, James. Man, pretty good. I, what's your badge number, sir? Two six eight. Two six eight. Like I was uh, conveying to your partner here, trying to come in and get some FOIA request forms. Okay. Uh, he, he obviously, I don't think he doesn't know about them because he brought me out medical health release forms, which is a difference. No, it is, yeah. Right. But one, one thing I, I do know about this facility here, what where you're going and where you need to get the forms from is not from this location. Okay. You have to go through the county itself, the Cook County Health Service Systems, okay. to request the FOIA forms. 
which might have to go to the downtown to get that done. I'm not sure the Sorry. exact location, but they don't do foyers here because this is a uh, health it's facility. Yeah. Okay. They it's don't do foyers here. Well, well, you know what? To be perfectly honest with you, Officer Sullivan, um, they like I've been through this before with an, in another county. Right, and, but the, in another, like Wood County was at it. Lake. Hey, this is Cook County. But, but I understand. I, no, I understand. But, <laughs> I'm, but I understand that. Yeah. I understand that. But but what I'm saying in terms of uh, the public property here, right? And by this being uh, obviously government funded. I know that they have to have FOIA forms on site, and the onus is on them in order to get it. You can't send the citizens saying, "Go, go this place, go." They he supposed to get it. He just don't know. Okay. Yeah, but he doesn't have. Them. He doesn't have. Them. I think he, he does. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he do. Okay. I'm pretty sure he do. Th but the one thing to be mindful of is being in a medical facility, right? And videotaping people in a medical facility is against is HIPAA. But you know the only thing about that is the, the HIPAA only applies to the workers, not on the citizens. I I don't have to protect. Okay. You, you get what I'm saying? And yeah, it's so how can we resolve this today? I mean, like I was telling him and the security guy there um, today. Like I said, I don't have anything, uh, no ill intent, nothing nefarious that I'm doing. Just gathering content for a story for possible publication, and then I'm book on out of here. That's it. Standing up, like I was telling the officer. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get this right again. Br Br Brosnan. Brosnan. Yeah. I was just telling him, staying in the publicly accessible areas, not making sure not to go past any um, restricted doors or anything like that. And then I'll book on out. That's it. How much longer do you need to stay? Not, not too much longer. I, like I said, you see the lobby's not even that huge. So get some stuff, look to see what they got to offer to the public, and, and go on. That's it. Okay. Um. By any chance, do you have a picture on your phone of what they may be, you may be looking for? Uh, that if I show him, or should you show me, and I go with him to go... I don't have a picture of it, but... In like, the back. You know, like, because I can come to, like, Arlington Heights Police Department and request a FOIA form. Right. But the, the, so yeah, it's the FOIA same they exact form. accessible, yes. That's exactly... Them the because same they're, precise they're form. Used, we're used to, obviously... Of course, of course, requests. of course, of so, course. But the health department does have, I'm, you know what, it's just, this is probably their first time encountering such a question, and I can understand that, but they do have him here. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> they do. But if he's the manager, but she is, and he doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh, she's the manager? No, no. He, he, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, okay. He okay. doesn't know, he's not familiar with it, we can't all of a sudden just magically make it appear. That's, so I'm that's not going to understand that. Where, 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 where you might have to go is, okay, I went to this facility, you contact someone maybe through the website and say, hey, I went to the facility, they didn't have these forms. That's they're correct. Of course, I'm definitely going to follow they're up doing that. Yeah, for sure. they're supposed to have them. But the manager like said they know, didn't have them. Yeah, right. I would like to know why they don't have them. And it, of where, course. Where may I obtain these items? That's correct. That's, right. that's I can understand that. that. Okay? Yeah, okay. But like I said, that was the first part of me being here. Obviously, like you said, they don't have them. So we're past that. And the second part is me documenting the health department. And like I said, I'm out of here. All right. So that'll be about um, it. Do you mind if I grab your information? Ah, uh, not. Yeah, I kind of do mind off some. Be perfectly honest, because I don't feel like I should want to give up my uh, Fourth Amendment right for for uh, minus a crime. So. Okay, just your name. I mean, I, I told just, you James. Just yeah. your name. Yeah, yeah James. Your name's James. Yeah. I'm leave it at James. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. Do you want a report number? I'm nah, not. Nah, nah, nah. I got no. No, nah, like I was telling you, man, it's All a waste right. of you guys' resources even coming out here, man. Okay. Um. Oh. What else do you need? That's it. Like, that was it. Uh, he couldn't I get know, the phone. You said you wanted to, to do some other things here. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to walk around. Like, and when we leave, are you going to leave? Or are you... Oh, definitely. Oh, for sure. Okay. Wait, I'm all not right. going to hang out here all day. Man. I'm going to go back and speak to him just for a moment if you want to hang out. And yeah. then we'll, we'll be on our way. Okay? All right, for sure. Yeah, so that's that was the, that was basically my reason for being here. Like I said, I don't have any early ten. I do this all over. Yeah. To be perfectly honest with you. Man. You live in the Cook County area. Lake. You live in Lake. Yeah. So you come up this way to doc do documentary. Yeah, yeah. Just to gather some content, create a story for this health department. Uh, I do. Are I like pro or, or against the health department system. Is that why you're doing it? Um, you know what? At this time, <laughs> I'm against. I'm definitely against the Lake County Health Department right now. They've they've done a a, a numerous of things that's uh, illegal, committed some crimes and things of that nature. So definitely against them. Uh, hope, wishing, and praying that Cook is not the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But have you, did you ever go on the Cook County Health Department website? Have you done that yet? Uh, not, not really. Not yet. Maybe try that and look under FOIA. FOIA. FOIA okay. forms. Okay. And it, it might be all linked into that, and then you can see locations where you can obtain one of those. Okay. And they may give you 
the address of the place to get it, and or they may just come out and say the only place you can get those is, is at this specific location. Yeah, yeah, they have because you have to have FOIA officers review. Them. Okay. So just because they have a FOIA form here, right? Let's say they did. They don't have the FOIA officer possibly that needs to review the request for whatever documentation. Yeah, you're looking but for. I can understand like maybe if they had the form, I would fill it out and probably drop it off somewhere else. Well, see, that's what I said. Maybe that's maybe they they, the, they don't have it here because of those reasons. You know, they're taking something this go right there. They fill it out and they review it right away. No, we're definitely. I'm definitely going to look into it for all sure. Right. So, all right, y'all set? Yeah, all right, right. Right. let's go. Oh well, I'm gonna leave after you guys leave. I don't want, I don't, want, yeah, I don't want you to escort me out. I'm, I'm not escorting you out. We're just walking out. If, if there was an escort, there'd be, you know, what an escort means. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'm just saying. I mean, you, you guys can go, and then I'll leave after you guys. I'm not going to leave with you. But as of right now, you are past the point. You now can see. No, oh, I was just talking to you guys right here. So, so now I'm not past the point. You come out here and sit down and relax. That's fine. What but you talking about in the lobby? You want to sit in the lobby or if you're going to go? Well, I'm going to walk around and document the rest of the things that's available to the public, and then I'll go. That's what I just said. I understand, but earlier I said when we were going to leave, are you going to leave? Correct. So when you guys pull off and leave, then I'll leave. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, All so, right. I'm, okay. Just do me a favor. Keep your phone down. I don't want you getting anything that you're not supposed to be getting. Like what? <laughs> we're in the public. The things back here. Medical, medical. The thing is, let me, just, let me just inform you guys real quick. I can, whatever I can see, Legally, I can record. That's 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 the law. So uh, I'm not doing anything nefarious. If I get some stuff on my camera, I would have to do something illegal in order for that recording to be legal. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm we just. Want, it's a very fine line, which I was, you know. You know for sure, so. for sure. I'm All not right. like I said. I'm not here to do anything nefarious. Right. Appreciate you guys. Are you cool with him just hanging out here just for right now? It's been long enough already. I had a dialogue with the police officer, so I mean, they they wanted to have talk to me about what happened. So yeah, all right. Well, we're we're gonna scoot, okay? For sure. And then you said you're gonna take off. For right? sure. That way we don't have any more issues. That's correct. Um, once you guys, once I see right. you guys pull off, man, I'm out of here. All right. This is uh. Yeah. That's okay. I still got these uh, COVID okay. policies up, as you guys can see. Patients rights, responsibilities, and privacy privacy statement. That's, that's the Cook County Health Patients Act. No federal, no surprises act. Make sure patients do not receive surprise bills for emergency services. And you, what you say your name again was? Danny. Danny, Danny, Danny. So yeah, uh, TTA family. Once we see, uh, once we see the cops pull off, uh, Willie. I know Maribel, Maribel here. She uh, probably thought the cops was gonna make me leave. Definitely not. Just to make a, just to make sure that they do understand. They still got these masks out here. I can't, I can't believe that they're still trying to enforce these covert provisions and policies. And okay, so let's see that the the cop make sure that they pull it off. Okay, we can book on out, man. We can definitely book on out. Danny, appreciate you, sir. All right, TTA family, so. Maribel, she was the rudest. And then they said about these FOIA forms are not on, on site. Uh, I'm pretty sure that managers, he was... He just seemed like he was unable to know. Uh, he uh, unable to know a lot. So, uh, pretty sure they have him here. I'm definitely gonna reach out to the Cook County Health Department headquarters and um, voice my opinion, my concerns on 
a um, couple of staff here, meaning the manager didn't obviously didn't go get the foyer sheets. And then Maribel, she was uh, extremely rude. Uh, so it is what it is. Uh, the Arlington Heights police did come. Uh, they tried to get me to leave with them. Nah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to play those games. But I mean, in, in any event, I don't think they were too bad, but they did try to get me to leave with them. Basically, feelings police, you know, he turned around and asked the uh, manager, do, do, you know, are you okay with this? Manager said no. So he was trying to get me to leave because of the manager's feelings. But to any event, we best stuck around until they pulled off. So, uh, man, appreciate all you guys who has been tuned in, man. Uh, like I said, this was a two for one. Wanted to give y'all the two for one today. Drop off the complaint and come over here and um, audit them. Uh, we did that. Everything is good. We're going to do some follow-ups with this. Y'all already know TTA fan. I'm doing follow-ups. But I appreciate everybody that's just been tuned in, all, everybody that's new. Man, I love you guys wholeheartedly, man. Every, everybody for the super chats, the super thanks. Make sure y'all hit the notification bells, too, for our show every Sunday at 2 p.m. Central. We live. TTA family. So until the next time.